It's the worms. You have to be patient and wait. And while we wait, we have to find the exact moment when the worms come into being. Hi everyone, my name is Agnes and this is going to be a review of Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin. She's an Argentinian author, so this was translated from Spanish by Megan McDowell. So, Fever Dream is a very short, surreal and suspenseful novel about a woman named Amanda who lies dying in hospital and is recounting to a boy named David who is not her son the events of the last couple of days of her life. As we quickly find out, Amanda came on vacation uh, to the country with her young daughter Nina and from there the events are unraveling at a very fast, feverish pace. So. I think the best way to experience this novel is by just going through it in one sitting. This is a very intense and atmospheric novel that pushes you along even though you're not quite sure what is happening. It requires you to try to piece together the story by yourself and you'll still probably walk away with many questions. Uh, at the same time, I felt that the author remained in control of the narrative and it never became just annoyingly confusing. The tension is enhanced when you notice that David is basically leading the narrative. He's constantly instructing Amanda on what is important and what to focus on, making sure that she doesn't stray from the intended course of the story. Um, the story becomes kind of terrifying because of the unknown and it gently creeps into your imagination as you try to fit the pieces together and come up with your own reasonable explanations. The novel is kind of like a horror story of motherhood. At its core it seems to explore the link between mother and child uh, that is described as almost a physical thing, a rope that is tied to Amanda's stomach from the outside and that she feels is pulling at her. This idea of a rope is um, linked to what Amanda calls the rescue distance, um, which is the variable distance that separates her from her daughter in case something bad may happen. Uh, she's constantly anxious and alert um, over the safety of her child and that is a very common thing among parents, especially young parents. The novel explores that fear of being responsible for someone so fragile who requires your constant protection and at the same time how easy something could happen without you even expecting it. Uh, the author is great at creating this sense of danger so much so that even you as the reader start to worry about Nina's safety and uh, become suspicious of all the other characters. Even though I'm not completely sure I understood the message of the story, it left a positive impression and I would be interested to read something else by this author. So those are my thoughts on Fever Dream. Let me know if you read it or are you planning to read it. And thank you for watching.